Hello there. Don't you just love our Welsh countryside? No wonder why so many people visit. It's filled with beautiful, sustainable forests, woodlands, parks, grassland for grazing, and of course, something we all need, food crops. In Wales, our agriculture is worth hundreds of millions of pounds to the Welsh economy every year. You could buy a vast amount of honey with that. Our main crops are wheat, barley and potatoes, but we grow all sorts of fruits and vegetables and proudly export our goods right across the world. Sadly, our plants are under threat from some nasty pests and diseases that could find their way to our land from around the world. The devastating Colorado beetle. Ooh. Epitrix. Ah! And the dreaded Xylella. Ugh! In 2002, a new Phytophthora disease was discovered affecting viburnum plants in Sussex. This has spread across the UK and is now damaging and killing larch trees in vast areas of Wales. These pests and diseases can have a devastating effect, and if they discover their favourite host plant, they will use them as a source of food, reducing crop yields or devastating our environment. That means more waste, more costs, less local food and less countryside to enjoy. But how are these pests and diseases reaching our crops in the first place? Well, roll up your sleeves. It's time for you to take action. Here are four steps you can take to help our countryside and our crops. Number one, who's ready for a holiday? <laughs> Not the only one. Do not bring plants or cuttings home from holidays abroad. It's a free and easy ticket for the pests and diseases to reach our land. Number two, make the most of our countryside and woodlands, but always clean your footwear and scrub down those bike tires between visits. You won't be the only one who enjoys a stroll. Don't forget to follow signs too. Number three, enjoy a spot of gardening. Always clean your tools and dispose of waste responsibly. Ask your council how. Buy any plants from responsible nurseries and garden centres and always check for pests and diseases. Number four, learn about native pests and diseases and how to report the non-native ones. If you know what's common in your environment and our countryside, the quicker you'll be able to spot the more exotic species. And you'll look pretty smart in front of your friends. It's very important that you report any findings to the Animal and Plant Health Agency so they have a chance to stop the spread. There, simple. Don't give pests and diseases a free ride. Act responsibly and learn, learn, learn. That way, we can all keep our countryside healthy and vibrant for future generations to enjoy. Ah, <sighs> Make a start now by visiting our website to learn more. And don't forget to clean your shoes. Protect our plants. Don't risk it.